Hi guys, Queen of Flannel here. Welcome back to the channel. So, um, today I thought we would take a dive into my winter slash Christmas slash holiday book collection. Um, I don't have a whole lot of, um, Christmas specific books, but I do have a few. Um, and I do have other books that have pictures in them that uh, we could color throughout the month of December. Uh, these are some of the more recent finds um, that I have picked up. It's not going to be full flip, full flip throughs of these books. Just, you know, quick little overview. If there are any that you see that you want me to do a full flip through of or, um, you know, ideas for... Uh, pictures that you might want to see colored, feel free to let me know in the comments and I will do what I can to make that happen. Um, let's start with this one. Um, I actually have a, a video of this on the channel. Um, it is Ursula, Sch Ursula Schwab's um, Advent Calendar Coloring Book. Um, I ordered this over the summer. And it got here back in September, um, so it is in true fashion. Let me get in here. An advent calendar, so we have no no idea what is in here. You open up a picture each day. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to like to tackle this um, because I know that I will not be able to color every single picture every single day but I do want to find a way to um to share it with you guys so what I might end up doing is opening it daily I will share um this part right here this little cover photo I'll open it up and then I'll have it set up so that if you don't want to be spoiled if you have the book um and I open it before you get to yours um that you'll have the option to not not peek at it i think as how i'm going to try and set it up um maybe over on instagram um, but i'm really excited to bust into this book and see what ursula has for us so that's their advanced calendar zumas mailin i probably butchered that um despite living in germany for four years <laughs> um the next one this is um this is uh, an older book. I don't remember off the top of my head when this came out, but it's a recent purchase for me. Um, this is Rita Berman's um, Oh, I don't remember the English translation. This my winter walk. Um, but there are some christmas themed photos in here i know i saw some pictures of trees um and if we get burnt out on trees in christmas uh there are other winter related things in this book that um that we can color and i kind of want to tackle this one um I don't know how this paper would hold up to watercolor, but I think it would be kind of fun to do this in watercolor, but we'll see. So this one's, this one is on my radar. Lots of cookies. This one would be, I, you know, this one, maybe, you know what, let's, I don't have my post-it notes here. I was gonna, um, since I, I thumbed to this page, I'm gonna mark this page while we are sitting here because I think this would be good for um like a color in chat where we just do a couple little things while I chat so we got that one marked but um yeah lots of cute cute pictures in here we could color some scarves some mittens this one is also cute this one also might be on my on my short list to figure something out for. Hmm. Some of these, like, I kind of, like, I, I flipped through them when I got them, but 
it wasn't winter when I got this, so I was more focused on the summer book. But so we've got uh, Rita's winter book that we can take a look at. Um, the next one, uh, Creative Haven's Country Christmas Coloring Book. Uh, there are some, some super cute images in here that I'm actually debating, um, pulling out of the book and seeing if I can copy them on, um, on some of the, the watercolor paper that I use for, uh, Watercolor Wednesdays. Because these, I think, would lend themselves very well to uh, watercolor, but not on this paper. This is, um, I think this is Create Space. I think this is Create Space paper. Um, this is Teresa Goodrich. I actually have quite a few of Teresa's books, and I love her... Um, her art style I just never seem to make it into these books to work in them so this might also need to be on our um our priority priority list uh this one's cute Let's see I want to try and find the one that's on the cover some of them are pretty detailed too but it's not like overwhelming. Like I'm not sitting here like looking at this thinking <gasps> I'll never be able to finish this. That's also cute. As I say, as I, as I say, oh, we're not going to do full flip throughs. And I sit here and do a full flip through of this book. I'm really just trying to find the, the cover because I want, <laughs> I want to color this truck. <laughs> Like, honestly, if it's, if I can, there it is. All right. So this would be the one that if I could, if I could pull this out and put it on uh watercolor paper, I would, I would probably paint this. So. Oh, the carolers. Well, first I thought she had her tongue stuck at, out, but. No, she's just, she's singing. Oh, this is cute, too. Aw, that's sweet. This makes me want to watch Polar Express. So yeah, so we've got um, Teresa Goodrich, Creative Haven, Country Christmas that we can work in. I'm going to hold that so the light doesn't blind you guys. So we got that one. And then next we have Debbie Maycomber's Very Merry Christmas Coloring Book. I think I got this. I want to say I got this in the buy three for the price of two on amazon the the one they did prior to the one that's going on now um i picked this up at one point i had this in my hand at target and for whatever reason i put it i put it back and then found it online um through amazon and there was something i noticed like these little like ink marks and there is a couple pages throughout the the book that has these like smudges like the like the ink like the ink got smudged um but i mean like this one that's in the sky so i could just do that in black and it shouldn't be an issue or dark blue but this one's cute, and for whatever reason, I've had a hankering to do brickwork, so we might have to tackle that one. 
She's got some interesting, um, some interesting pictures in here. Some of them I'm not really sure about. If not this year, I mean, the book's not going anywhere. There's always next year. <laughs> the cat in the midst of all of the wrapping. That's actually more... I See, I have rabbits that do that if you sit down on the floor and try and wrap around, um, around the rabbits. That one's cute, too. I like this one, but again, sometimes the more detailed, the, the bigger stuff like this kind of intimidates me. And if I can't finish something in a relatively short amount of time, it just ends up becoming a whip. Advent calendar. I was looking at this one the other day and contemplating the so paper in this book is thick. So this might actually hold up well to, to watercolor. So I was looking at this one the other day thinking about Trying to do something with these lights. So. I don't know. This one may end up a speed paint. Dear Santa, my friend Peggy has a bicycle with tassels and a basket with a flower in the front. Can you bring me one just like hers? Thank you, Lindy. Oh, these are, oh, this is a, this is a, a, there's a story to go along with this one. This one's cute. Also. I mean, the whole book is cute. Just some of them, I don't know if I will, if I will color, if I will get to them or it, I don't know, but, so. Debbie Mae Comer's Very Merry Christmas Coloring Book. I look forward to working in this. We'll find, we'll find a page. And the last one I have is an oldie, but probably a goodie. Uh, this is new to me, even though the book has been out for a while. Um, again, this, this one I actually, did I get this from, from Target? I honestly can't remember if I if I found this at Target or if this was also in one of the buy three for the price of two. Either way, it's Joanna Basford's Christmas coloring book. Came out a few years ago. Um, so I imagine we will have some fun stuff to color in here. We could color the cover and use watercolors in here because it's like cardstock. So there's that. Yeah, it's interesting. I, um, so there's like a design on the back of each page, but it's in lighter ink. So I had wondered if it was, instead of putting like black paper for a single-sided design page, if it was set up so that you could use markers if you wanted. Um, because these are done in lighter ink. So I wasn't sure if these were supposed to be like a backer page or, or what. Because I mean, they're really nice. I don't know if like... I'd want to, um, like, ruin them using markers. I mean, you could still color those. Like, yeah, there's a bunch of, like, gifts and things like that. It looks like wallpaper. And then there's this page. 
I actually, you know what, I'm going to mark this one because I have some metallic watercolors that I would love to use more of, so this one might get some love. And it's open enough that I could do watercolors for the background, so maybe I will tackle this as well. Um, but it's Joanna, so cute, quirky, inky images. Some nutcrackers. See? Okay, so then there's this then there's this one. This whole like these whole two pages are in this faint ink. So I'm not quite sure what like what the like what the deal with this is. If anybody knows, unless it's in the front of the book and I just completely like glossed over like what the the reasoning is behind the lighter ranked images. Handy. Well, that's interesting. In the snow globe. But so that's Joanna's Joanna's Christmas. And I know um you know that's that's five books. I feel like that's pretty pretty decent for seasonal books. It gives us lots of options. Um but again, if there's anything that you that you saw that you want to know more about or see a full flip through feel free to let me know in the comments um and thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it and uh if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more be sure to like subscribe hit the bell to get notified when i post additional content and i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much